Okay, kids, it is time for the sermon in a box. And so I'm gonna ask the kids to come up here and join me up front. And the box made it this morning. Great, thank you, Naomi, for bringing our box. And we're gonna see what's in here in the sermon in a box. We have someone bring an item, toy, something, and then we try to see if that can teach us something about God and his word. And so let's see what we have in our box this morning. And I love it. We have a unicorn. That's right. We have a unicorn uh, this morning. I love unicorns. This is a beautiful unicorn. Thank you for sharing it with us uh, this morning. Very pink, exciting, and colorful unicorns. Hmm. What can the unicorns teach us? You know, there is a there is a mistranslation that in the I don't I, in the King James version of the Bible there's a unicorn, uh, but it is a it's a mistranslation. So I don't think any uh, any unicorns in the Bible, but but unicorns they are a special and they are a unique animal. And there's all sorts of stories uh, about uh, uh, people going on searches. They go on quests to try to find this special and this unique animal that no one has ever found before. And you know, when we read stories about quests like that, you know, sometimes in our life, we wanna go on quests. We wanna go find a special and unique things and that's, that's good. But you know what it reminds me? It reminds me of Jesus. That even though we're not unicorns, Jesus went on a quest for us. Jesus came into this world and he lived a perfect life. And then he died a death on the cross and he rose from the dead. And you know why he did that? He did that because he was on a quest for us. He came to find us and to make us his own. And I'm so grateful that Jesus went on a quest for us. So Naomi, thank you so much for sharing your unicorn with us. And so now we need to give the...